Hello there guys, welcome back to another short online tutorial. Today we're based in Adobe Illustrator and it's Jack from Blue Sky Graphics. What I'd like to do today guys is to go over the 3D and materials tool within Adobe Illustrator just to show you how you can create a teacup effect like as you can see in front of you today. Okay, what I'm going to do now is let's set up a new artboard. So if I was to come and use my artboard tool here, lovely. What I can do now is come to my little plus sign at the top here and add a new artboard. And let's move that across all okay. key. So what we need to do first of all is create the illustrations first that we would then implement within the 3D and materials window. So I'm going to use my pen tool like so, and I'm going to place an anchor point there like so. And I'm going to click another anchor point there. And I'm going to press shift, and click another anchor point there like so. Now, you'll notice that I've set my stroke to 50 points, okay? And I have a nice round effect on the caps and corners, okay? I've done that by, if you click on the word stroke here, as you can see, I put my caps as rounded and my corners as rounded. Okay, so let's create another shape. So this time I'm gonna use the pen tool again, and I'm gonna click here, place an anchor point, press shift on a nice straight line, click one there, let's say, Let's come about there, click, click, click. Okay, so you can see now we have two shapes, right? So what we do with that one there, let's swap the fill and the stroke around. Okay, and we'll put that a different color. Let's put like a light blue in there. Okay, so the first thing I need to make sure is that this is in front of our shape here. So I'm just gonna simply select it, right click, arrange, bring to front. There we go, okay. And what I need to do also as well is create our handle for our, our own teacup. So I'm gonna use the pen tool again, and all my points are exactly the same. So I'm gonna click, press shift for a nice straight line, click, and I'm going to come here. But this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to click with my mouse, keep my finger pressed down and press shift and draw out the handle there. Okay, because I want to try a curvature path like so. Keep back on the anchor there. Wonderful. What we're going to do also with the direct selection tool is just round off that corner there a little bit like so. Perfect. Okay, let's change that there yeah, like so. Okay, now I've created my three, um, my two elements that I need to use to create my effect. Now, what I'm gonna do is affect this one, this part of, uh, first. What you must make sure is there are two elements is you must make sure these are grouped together. So the shortcut to do that on a Mac is Command G, the shortcut to do that on the Windows is Control G. So if I now press uh, that shortcut, they're now grouped, okay? Now, as you can see, my 3D materials window is already open. If you can't see that, you go to window and 3D and materials. Okay, so the first option, what I'm gonna do is come to the object and I'm gonna press revolve, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is come to offset direction from, and we need to do it from the right edge. Perfect. So as you can see already, my teacup, my cup is coming, um, coming to life. Now what I can do is come to my rotation presets and the, uh, the rotation preset I want to use is isometric right. Perfect. Now you can see we have this little dot in the middle here, this little hole. To solve that, what I'm gonna do is use our direct selection tool. Okay, I'm gonna set this anchor point and I'm just going to click and drag it a little bit over there, like so, to the right, just to remove that dot. Fantastic. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do with it selected is now render with ray tracing. Okay. And what this will do, will just add an extra sense of realism to the aesthetics. It will add a uh, lighting effect, really brings up the um, realism of your 3D illustrations within um, Illustrator. 
okay? It takes a bit of time sometimes for it to render, but trust me, the results are very, very impressive. And they give that, like I say, that extra sense of realism to, um, to your objects. And as you can see, look at the nice shine that they've added here. They've really, really improved the 3D aesthetics, okay? And then what I'm going to do now is we have our materials option in our 3D and materials window. I'm just going to affect the roughness probably around to about 0.02. Like so, yet again, it may take a bit of time for um, the tracing and illustrator work to work that out, okay? But I would always recommend you doing and affecting these elements, okay? The good old saying, Roman wasn't built in a day, falls into this, okay? The results are really good, but sometimes you need to give Illustrator a little bit of time just to um, work out the shading, the lighting, the realism, the curvature. But as you can see, look at the glossiness of that now. Really, really impressive, okay? Wonderful. Now, what I'm gonna do is now let's affect our handle to our cup here, which is this one here. So let's select it. So with that selected, I'm gonna come back to my 3D materials window, come back to the object section. And this time what I'm gonna do now is use inflates. Okay, perfect straight away. And now after inflating, what I'm going to do is let's render that. Like so, as you can see straight away off the bat, it gives that nice gloss. What we'll do is let's change the angle to isometric right as well. Perfect. Okay. And um, maybe you could affect the lighting. I'm going to leave them alone for this for this design, but you may want to affect them. Now, what I can do is place that handle there, right click, arrange, and let's send that now to the back. Wonderful. And as you can see, our handle now and our teacup really coming together. Now I'm happy with how it's come out. So I'm going to select everything, okay? And what I'm going to do now is just expand the experience. So I'm going to objects, and now I can expand the experience. Fantastic. So now what we'll do is let's group these elements up by pressing the shortcut Command G on Mac or Control G on Windows. And now I can line them up perfect within that artboard. Wonderful. Now you'll notice there is a little bit of smoke that's coming off my teacup, okay? So how would you go about doing that? To resize a little bit better like so, okay. Um, I would use our paintbrush tool and double click on the paintbrush tool just to make sure the fidelity is super smooth, okay. And I'm gonna come through here and create a wavy smoke like shape. Okay, and then what we'll do is we'll now turn that to white. We'll turn off the stroke and let's put a nice little white color in there. Wonderful. Now we need to give that sort of smoky effect. So with that selected, what I'm gonna do is come to view, sorry, effect, blur, Gaussian blur. Wonderful, and then you can see now we can really add that a blur effect to the smoke. Say like so. Okay, and maybe what we should do is affect the opacity as well. That just bring that down a tad. Now let's create a nice background layer and background element for our design here. So I'm just gonna use the rectangle tool and let's go right over our artboard like so. Perfect. Let's apply a gradient to it. But what I wanna do is manipulate this gradient. So with our gradient window, when it comes to this stop here, and uh, let's use one of our swatches for a dark color, dark bluey kind of color. Perfect. And then with that selected, what I'm gonna do with the selection tool is right click, arrange, and then send to the back, like so. And what I wanna do now is lock that to the artboard, that background. So with that selected, what I can do is use the shortcut Command 2 on Mac or Control 2 on Windows to lock to the artboard. And then I can come through here, Bring that, let's say, a little bit like so here. And maybe we want to affect the opacity just a little bit more on that smoke, just to give it a little bit more of a smoky feel. And there you go, guys. That is how you create a teacup-looking effect within Adobe Illustrator. 
If you're interested in finding out more about Blue Sky Graphics, the courses that we offer, please visit our website at blueskygraphics.co.uk. Also, what you can do is take a look at our Instagram uh, for some really cool work by our very talented students at Blue Sky Graphics UK. Also, as well, guys, on a weekly basis, there are tutorials that are coming out um, that vary across many softwares from Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign, um, Elementor, XD, Adobe XD. So please check them out. Thank you very much, guys. Take care and I'll see you next time.